conservatives, listen, conservatives, Republicans, if you want me to take you seriously, get real. Trump's attacks on judge and law clerk trigger hundreds of threats. So this is why he needs the gag order. He won't accept that, but uh, the former president went on another tear against the civil fraud case in an unglued Thanksgiving message to the New York Attorney General, Judge Arthur Angeron, and other targets of his ire. Donald Trump celebrated the Thanksgiving holiday this week by taking advantage of a pause in the gag order he'd been under in his civil fraud trial, attacking New York Attorney General Letitia James and Arthur Angeron and the law clerk. All right, I think I've got the whole thing right here. Happy Thanksgiving to all, including the racist, incompetent Attorney General of New York State, Letitia Peekaboo James. Peekaboo? Who has let murder and violent crime flourish and businesses flee. The radical left Trump-hating judge, a psycho Arthur Angeron, who criminally defrauded the state of New York and me by purposely devaluing my assets in a tiny fraction of what they are really worth in order to convict me fraud before even a trial before seeing any proof no he saw the proof you fucking liar dude god come on he saw the proof and then he made a decision used his politically based biased and corrupt campaign finance violator chief clerk allison greenfield to sit by his side on the bench and tell him what to do and crooked joe biden who was weaponized his department of justice against all political opponents and allowed our country to go to hell and of the radical left lunatics communist fascist marxist democrats and rhinos who are seriously looking into destroying our country have no fear however we will win the presidential election in 2024 make america great again good god that is some alex jones level tear shit it really is he who sounds like a racist dog i don't know if it is or not uh, I feel like that peekaboo is a slur. Oh, great. <laughs> he meant a a slur that rhymes with that, and it autocorrected. Maybe. We can't say it's not. Okay, so much. The man lies on a level that nobody else can. It's amazing. Uh, racist and competent. Uh, no, not true just making things up so it's lots of fun peekaboo i have no idea why this might be a racist thing i don't know um who let murder and violent crime flur crime flourish i doubt that's true feeling that it's not true and businesses flee uh probably i don't know there's a whole lot of things that reasons why a business would leave new york the radical left trump hating judge psycho no not true criminally defrauded uh the state and me no he didn't purposely value my assets at a tiny fraction of what they were really worth in order to convict me of fraud no he didn't do that he didn't convict you of fraud before the trial he convicted you of fraud in the trial after seeing the proof you're lying again he uses politically biased and corrupt campaign finance vi violator not true uh, Allison Greenfield to sit by his side on the bench and tell him what to do. So the judge is taking orders from Allison Greenfield because she's so powerful. That's nonsense. Crooked Joe Biden, who's weaponized? No, he hasn't weaponized. He has had his hands off of this entirely. This is the state of New York. Has nothing to do with Joe Brandon at all. In any way has anything to do with him. Uh, allowed our country to go to hell. It's not actually in hell. Actually, right now, it's the same as it's always been. Radical left lunatics, communists, fascists, uh, blah, blah, blah. Seriously looking to destroy our country. No. I want to make our country better. Donnie, 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 listen, Donnie. Leftism will make the country better. Not destroyed. Not worse. Not... Ch it will change it for the better. I think I can make arguments to prove that but the man is a ramble machine it's the same as AJ's excuse they try to uh, misrepresent the conclusion because most of their listeners don't understand the difference between civil and criminal trials exactly they the people hearing this and loving it the people who saw this and were like yeah we love it the people on truth social do not know what's real they have been gaslit so hard by Republicans. They don't know where they are anymore. They don't know what's real. They don't know what exists. They don't know what's proper. They don't know what's up. They don't know what's down. They are absolutely in a imaginary minefield. And I'm going to, that's what my notes are about later. Uh, imagination of Republicans is amazing. They have some of the most powerful and amazing imaginations you can imagine. Well, that's a stupid sentence, but 
they're very imaginative, imaginative, and they will imagine things that are coming to get them that are going to harm them, and then tell you how real they are, and how they're actually super important, and very, very dangerous. Look, I made a, I made a, I made a little list here. All right, trans groomers, millions of dead people voting for Biden. Hunter's laptop, caravans, four million fake votes for Hillary, Hillary's email server, the Ground Zero Mosque, immigrants coming across the southern border to take your job, Jewish people replacing white people with uh, brown people that Jews will not replace. It's a whole thing. Obama's jackbooted thugs coming to take your guns, welfare queens with 12 kids driving Cadillacs, and Jewish space lasers. What do all these things have in common? They're not real. None of that's real. None of it is real. It's imaginary. But each one of those things you've probably heard of are very important to Republican politics. They really are. Those are the Republican talking points that I'm looking at. Even though they're factitious, they have played an important part in our politics. And I had to learn about each one. I had to pay attention to it. I had to learn about it. I had to figure out what it was and then figure out why it's not real. Conservatives, listen, conservatives, Republicans, if you want me to take you seriously, get real. Get real. Talk about actual things. Talk about real stuff. Don't just repeat the unreality that is fed to you. These, Those were all Im- unreal things. Stop being the party of unreality. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's what a lot of it is about. You're right. Um, a lot of that is about that. Uh, racism and bigotry, which are, again, just why would you dislike a person based on the color of their skin? Because they're different. You if, imagine you're worried that they're going to be different or they're going to take from you when yours. Those brown people are going to come up through the uh, southern border and they're going to take from you. Your kids aren't going to get a good education because those brown kids are going to stay steal it from them. You're not going to get a good job because those brown people are going to come over and take it from you. And that's un- unacceptable in the Republican brain because they are xenophobic, yes. They do not care that those are also people. That, that, that's what bothers me about it sometimes. Those are people crossing the border. But according to you, they're not allowed to be here. Why? Because you drew a line in the dirt? Who cares? This is why I'm anti-border. Who cares what side of the line in the dirt you're on? doesn't make a difference. It's just a person. And now they're they're doing the the old-fashioned thing. They're saying that uh, Hamas is coming across the border from the south? That's insane. Just because you can't tell the difference between a Palestinian and a Mexican doesn't mean they can't. First of all, how would a Palestinian Hamas agent get to Mexico? Good God. They can't get out of their own country. <laughs> they're, they're being bombed all to hell, and they, they have almost nothing. There's no way they're getting there. Are the tunnels that long? Do they dig a tunnel that far across the uh, Atlantic Ocean, all the way under to Mexico? Seems unlikely. They said the same thing about the Taliban. Absolutely. They definitely said that about the Taliban. I spoke to an actual, literal uh, human being, IRL, back in the day, who... Oh God, what year was this? This was way back in the day. This was 2006 or 2007 or something like that. He really hated Obama. And he, I worked with him, and he hated Obama. And he told me that if Obama is elected, Al-Qaeda is going to come across the Mexican border. What? What? How would that even happen? How could that even possibly happen? He couldn't tell the difference between an Afghanistan person and a Mexican person. He couldn't. If you put two of them together, he couldn't tell which one was which. But they can. The drug trade that's in Mexico. (laughs) Well, you know what they would do if they found an Afghanistan person? They would murder them immediately. Quietly, silently, and bury them in the desert and no one would ever hear about it. Because one, one terrorist, one uh, person from Al-Qaeda crosses that southern border, the entire thing becomes... A battlefield. The actual army would show up and post up a guy at every single inch and aim guns south. The drug runners don't want that. The drug dealers who move cocaine and weed north and then guns and money south don't want that. They would murder any Hamas person they find. 
Obama's going to the border to unlock the screen door to let them in. That's right. <laughs> he was going to go to the. He was going to go there and just uh, un, undo the latch and just let them all in. Anyway, that's a lot of ranting. Stop ranting. Well, what are we talking about? What are we thinking about? So he's uh, attacking people. Oh, and it caused a whole lot of. Uh, so, how did we get on this this topic? Uh, Donald Trump said a lot of mean things, and then his friends gave death threats and anti-Semitic rants inundated Justice Arthur Ingeron and his law clerk after the former president attacked them on social media, court security officials say in affidavit. Yeah, his words have consequences. Oh, hi. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. The algorithm loves it when you watch it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, if you want to keep the algorithm happy, and I know you do, press the subscribe button, press the thumbs up button, leave a comment, Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're feeling. And let's all keep that algorithm happy. Thanks. Have a good day.